Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Andrea and you're all probably thinking, wow, who are you? Um, I'm a new face around here and this is the first video that I'm doing for Maybelline on their YouTube channel as part of the Makeup Loft. I'm so, so excited to be part of the Maybelline family. They're such an awesome company and I'm just so excited. I think without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So today's video is a challenge video and I have been challenged to do a creative or camp style makeup look, but it has to be influenced by emojis. So... What I'm kind of thinking of doing is maybe like a blue in the inner corner, like the crying emoji, and then maybe doing like nice blushed up kind of cheeks, like the blushing emoji. I'm going to try my best today to make it as wearable as possible and try and make it as easy and simple as I possibly can. Let's just jump right into the makeup. There's a couple of primers from Maybelline that I really wanted to use, but I think for today's look only because it's really cold outside and I feel like it's winter here in Australia, so my skin recently has been extremely dry and I've just been packing on moisturizer. I feel like for today I want a primer that's kind of going to hydrate, so I'm going to jump in with this one, which is the hydrating primer. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of that onto the back of my hand and just begin to apply that. Um, I really like applying primers with a brush because I get a lot of redness on my skin um, really often. My skin can go quite red when I rub particular products into it. So whenever I do makeup, I like to apply things with brushes because it's a little bit less harsh on the skin, I feel. Our skin is now primed, hydrated, and a little bit tacky, which is perfect because the foundation is going to stick. 100%. So, we're going to be diving into the Dream Satin Liquid. And I've got the shades 21 Nude and 23 True Bay. And two pumps of each um, just down here. You can pop it on the back of your hand, but I just popped it on a little palette just out of my desk here. And I'm just going to take a beauty sponge and just begin to blend that around the face. And by mixing both the pink undertone, the yellow undertone, it's given me a pretty decent match to my face. I like this foundation because it kind of leaves your skin looking very velvety and I love that look. Like I don't, I don't mind a matte look, but especially during winter, I prefer something that's not as matte, but gives a little bit more of like a sheen. And like the name, like Dream Satin Liquid, it gives you like a nice satin, velvety complexion, like finish to it, which really makes your skin look hydrated, alive, and makes it look like normal skin. Whereas I feel like if you do a matte foundation during winter, it can kind of dry out your skin even more, especially if you're going to use powders as well, because powders and the matte foundations, plus the dry weather is just not a good combo, really not a good combo. I'm just going to get that and blend it just below the chin as well, a little bit onto the neck, just so we don't, not, we're not left with a nice, big, beautiful foundation line down our bottom of our face. The more you bounce it, the more blended it will look and the more it'll sit better on the skin. So I'm just going to sit here and just continue blending until I think it looks seamless. Okay, so foundation is done. I feel like that foundation kind of gave me a nice glow, a nice radiance, a nice like healthy look to the skin. Like it's still got a nice sheen to it, which I really, really like. Um, so now that foundation is done, we're going to dive on into concealer. I'm going to conceal under the eyes, and to do that, I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And this one is in the shade Medium. But I've got a shade that is closest to my foundation shade. I kind of like concealers that are closer to my foundation shade, just because it's easier to blend out. My eye bags are a little bit like, they kind of are like puffy. So by using one that's more my skin tone, it kind of blends it out evenly into the skin, whereas if I use one that's kind of brighter, it kind of makes them look more puffy and brings them out, because like, if you put light on the face, it brings it out, if you put something dark on your face, it makes it sink in. So by using one that's my foundation shade, it just makes it one with the foundation. It's really good because it's got a sponge applicator on it, so you can directly apply it to your skin and just dab it in the parts that you want to. Really good for um, corrective concealing, so if you've got a, a particular blemish, you can just go like that right on top of it, and then blend it out with a sponge or a brush or something. I'm also going to take this concealer and pop it onto my eyelids as well, just so we can do a nice concealing and priming of the eyelids all at once. Then I'm going to take that same beauty sponge that I had before and just look up and just begin to blend the concealer out into the foundation.
And now I'm just going to take the beauty blender and begin to blend the concealer above onto the eyelid. I like using concealer as an eye primer because it helps to cover up all of the blue veins and stuff that I have in my eyes. And when, especially when you're doing creative looks or you're working with color, it's super important to have a nice kind of blank canvas on the eyes. That way, as soon as you put those nice, bright, vibrant colors, you get the oomph of like the nice neons and the colors and stuff. Now that our foundation concealer is done, we have to set that. That way it doesn't crease or move and it kind of stays during the day. So to do that, I'm going to take the Fit Me loose finishing powder in the shades 10 and 20. So I'm just going to unscrew the lid and because this is a loose powder I'm just going to kind of tap a little bit of it into the lid and then just taking the same beauty sponge that we used before otherwise if you have another one just for powder you can use that but I just use the same one for everything. Just looking up at the sky and popping that powder right underneath the eye. It's called baking so it'll help to set that concealer into place as well as preventing creases and stuff so as soon as you blend out your concealer you want to jump right on with the loose powder that way the concealer doesn't really have time to settle into those fine lines and I'll take that that one as well and pop it onto my eyelid this will help again to keep the concealer onto your eyelid but it also helps um, the shadows to blend a little bit better later on um, just because your base won't be tacky, so it's a little bit easier to blend. Then I was going to take the, um, the same powder in shade 20 and just begin to set the whole entire face. I think what we might do is move on into the eyes and then I think we might finish the face a little bit later on. So... For eyes, I've got a couple of palettes that I want to use, um, obviously from Maybelline. So there's the um, Lemonade Craze palette, and this one's cute. It's got some nice pinks and yellows, and just more of like a warm tones palette. And then this one here is the City Mini palette in Graffiti Pop, and this one's got some brighter colours and a little bit more cool toned colours in there as well. So I'm going to use the Lemonade Craze palette first for my lid area, and then I might use the blue from the Graffiti Pop palette in my inner corner to kind of give it that nice pop of blue which I think will look really really cute so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit more just for the eyes section of the video just so you guys get to see more in detail of what I'm doing I'm going to jump right into the shade ice pop just there and I'm just gonna do like zigzags into the pan and just windshield wipe emotions as well as little circles as well and in circles will help you get right up towards that brow and really diffuse out that color a little bit more so you're not left with just a big strip of um, color don't worry too much about the top half of the eye at the moment I'm going to go in with another shade after that just in between this shade and the brow bone just to give it that extra blend to help it blend better into the um, brow I'm gonna take the shade lemonade craze and then take that just where the brow bone is and blending it into the pink as well so just along the top bring it right up to the brow don't be afraid to go inside the brow as well so ever so slightly into the base of the brow get it right up in there and then blend it with that pink as well just so we start to get that nice blend between the pink and the yellow okay so now what we're gonna do is on the lid I'm gonna take the yellow and then just stamp it into the center. Then I'm just gonna take the exact same brush that we had before that we used the pink with, dip back into the pink, and just blend that onto either side of the yellow, just so we have a nice blend, just like that. So the pink's kind of blended on either side of the yellow. Then on a really, really small brush, I'll take the same pink, and just blend that under the eye and then connecting that with the shadow on the top so you're not left with a little gap there just connect it on the outer corner so you know how like the emojis have the crying tears coming out of the eyes like from the middle I think we might take inspiration from that and grab this shimmery blue from the graffiti pop palette because oh, we're not really going to do an inner corner highlight this is going to kind of act as our inner corner highlight because it does have a bit of shimmer in it and then just pop that right into the middle. 
right where your tear duct is. This eye look is really bold, so a bit more out there. I think I want some drama on the lashes as well. So I want something that's really going to give it that volume. And this mascara here is the, the Colossal Volume Mascara. So now that the eyes are done, the eye portion of the video is done, we're going to move on to the face now. So for the face, I've got a couple of ideas. I'm thinking of doing nice blushed up cheeks, but before we go into blush, we need to give our face a little bit of definition, seeing that we look a little bit flat um, because we popped all that foundation on. I'm going to take the Master Contour Palette, and then inside that, it's a trio. So you get a contour, a blush, and a highlight. And I'm going to take the contour first from this palette and just begin to pop that just below the cheekbone just to give us some structure and automatically you can see this side looks more lifted the cheekbone is more there and on this side it looks a little bit more flat just to make my seven head forehead we look hot we look hot but we need more. So we're going to jump into the exact same palette, the Master Contour, but we're going to do step number two, which is the blush. And really just pack that onto the tops of our cheeks. Think of like the blushing emoji. As you do this, add that much blush. So we're going to jump into highlighting today. To highlight, I'm going to go in with the Master Chrome Highlighter. We're going to take a fan brush for that. And then literally zigzag that onto the face. Grabbing a little bit more and popping it on the tip of my nose as well. I'm going to pop a touch on my chin. Some people don't like highlight on the chin, but I don't believe in that. I think highlight should just go everywhere. Cupid's bow. Maybe a fan brush. Wasn't the best brush to do that, but I did it. I'm going to go pop on some lashes, and then I'll be right back to pop on our lip. So I just popped on a pair of lashes, and now it's time to do lips, and then we're pretty much finished. For the lips, I want something that's going to be long-wearing, but not crusty, dusty, and like flakes off throughout the day. And these are liquid lipsticks, and these come in so many different colours. I have a couple sitting behind me in the set just here, so I have like heaps and heaps of colours, and I'm going to be taking the shade 05 Loyalist today. It holds heaps of product on the inside, but then disperses it through the bristles on the outside, and then it's got like this nice precision tip, so you're able to like get every single corner of the mouth. Also quickly, as I'm applying this lipstick, I just thought I'd quickly bring up that National Lipstick Day is on the 29th of July. It's a day of empowerment, it's a day of friendship. It's pop on their most coolest lipstick you've got, whether it's nude, whether it's red, whether it's purple, blue, just pop it on, show your empowerment, show your support. It's a good day for people to get really creative with their makeup. Then I think to add a little bit of extra pop, I'm just going to grab that highlighter that we used earlier, pop it on my finger, and just place it in the very middle of the lips. That pretty much wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking around with my first video here on the Maybelline Makeup Loft. I really enjoyed doing it. It's so fun. I love playing around with makeup and colour is one of my most favourite things. So I'm so happy that my first video I got to muck around with some colour. Really just like amp it up. Click that red subscribe button down below to subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup channel. That way you can know whenever they post a new video you get notified and you can know all the mad tips and tricks and really awesome hacks. But thank you so much for sticking around with my first Maybelline Makeup Loft. I'll see all of you really, really soon. Bye! Mwah.